Yo, you guys know that uh, Candy Crush Dragon Ball Gaming, y'all know Dokkan, y'all know that? Yeah, we're gonna be talking about the anniversary, but not the 8th version. We're gonna be talking about the 10th anniversary and the path to get there. So I'm focusing on the Japanese version of Dokkan Battle here, but it has been a good while, over 8 years since the game was released on January 30th, 2015. And the game has been going strong, I have to admit that the game has still been going very strong. But uh, I reckon the next year and a bit, until the 10th anniversary, is going to be some of the most important years for Dokkan because it's really got to solidify a change in not just perhaps gameplay, but a change in the game itself, or multiple changes if you want, if the game is going to go beyond the 10th anniversary. Let me just get this out of the way. The summoning system, please implement more brand new custom summon animations or different sorts of summons. I don't care what it is, please put more in. The superhero version, the su you know the superhero animations? Those were great. We gotta get more of that, to be honest, because it's starting to get stale. Like, you can't deny that. It needs an update drastically. Now, of course, secondly, we have gotta talk about content and different game modes. And I don't think it's a secret that a lot of people really despise events like Chain Battle. Battlefield isn't bad, but I've said this before and I'll say it again. I think the first version of Battlefield was really special. I think something of that sort, something of that nature, really should be implemented within the next year and a bit. Because adding game modes like that, adding different ways to use your units, besides the whole Candy Crush aesthetic and Dokkan mode and whatever, is going to be a massive boon to the game. Besides Battlefield 1.0, I could think of a couple off of the top of my head. Some different game modes could be perhaps raid battles. I know raid bosses are really popular in Legends and Xenoverse. I think they could work in Dokkan as well. Now it depends whether or not it's going to be a single player or a multiplayer experience because right now we don't have PvP. And if they were gonna do something that involved more than one player, I think the best way to go about that in terms of, you know, raid battles would be to simply have your rotations. You do the orbs, you have you both players do that. And then perhaps instead of traditional super attacks, they introduce some brand new attacks, uh, co-op attacks, maybe uh, three or four different versions depending on how, how much key you get or specific set of circumstances and that way you can really damage the raid boss. That's just one particular event off the top of my head. Now another option could of course be an endless mode, an endless dungeon of sorts. So you just test your team's endurance against an ever increasing wave of enemies. And of course the enemies get even more challenging as you move up the different rounds. Whether or not they want to introduce some kind of world ranking for that specific event is it would be nice, it's either or. Now burst mode was a good addition to the game. I think they should continue doing that with a range of different events and including perhaps a brand new set of challenges instead of the ones that we've been consistently getting over the past couple of events. So besides gameplay and different events, different sorts of content, for sure some balancing adjustments would be very very sorely needed, I reckon, in the next uh, year or so. Especially when we have these conversations on second EZAs. I mean, after over eight years, you can obviously expect a lot of older SSR units to completely fall off, and even LR units. And some of the original LRs even, even you know, the Prime Battles or the original summonable LRs, are not getting uh, the proper treatment so as to fit in any sort of meta today. Which again, can be expected, but it would be nice to get a blast from the past, if you will. Now, if you've followed me for a bit, you'll know that I'm a definite enjoyer of the Dragon Ball Heroes series, and especially the collaborations it has with Dokkan Battle. Now, admittedly, the last collaboration we had with the Limit Breakers was good, but not good enough in my opinion, obviously, the global side got mega shafted with that uh, heart's active skill. That was just absolutely terrible. Classic global L, as you will. But uh, definitely the value of these collaborations only goes up as Dragon Ball Heroes continue strong. And 
for sure it would be a massive boon to the game should they introduce bigger events i know we had recently had the red zone that was introduced for dragon ball heroes that was nice uh that needs to be improved and re-added back into the game because i'm pretty sure that was only a limited time thing but by expanding that making it better creating a whole bunch of units that would be very beneficial for the game and to be completely honest i've said this before why on earth dokkan doesn't introduce even more characters from heroes or even just other Dragon Ball collaborations or games in general is really strange because Heroes has hundreds of thousands well not hundreds of thousands but hundreds upon thousands of cards while not all of them can go into Dokkan certainly there are maybe like a hundred or so that can easily fit within Dokkan's atmosphere if you will if it's gameplay it's a matter of choosing the right ones at the right time and they for, for the ninth anniversary that's incoming just before the ninth anniversary they have a massive opportunity to do so and they should take it in my opinion and this last point is one that i think many players more specifically the free-to-play players will definitely cry out for that they still do to this day just better rewards in general it's kind of a given that the japanese version is more generous when it comes to its rewards there is of course the infamous 100 dragon stones that we get ever so often uh the very famous 300 dragon stones that if i recall correctly was at the time of the physical vegeta blue and the agility rose goku black i think that was the summon banner in which we got a bunch of refunds of course it's rarer these days to get those kinds of rewards but certainly the introduction of more story events even you know maybe even the story mode or even story events and just improving on those creating new stages updating older stages would be as i've stated before massively beneficial to the game and would really keep a, a large majority of the community happy obviously they're a business they want to make money that's what the store is for and that's very true i'm not denying that i'm not saying that's a bad thing but the introduction of more free-to-play friendly elements is a win for everybody in my opinion but that's just what i think this is what's going into the 9th and 10th dokkan banner anniversary and going beyond that these are just common sense just general things i think that can be improved on that dokkan really needs in order to survive but uh yeah let me know what you guys think uh like comment and subscribe if you wish and have yourself a fantastic one see you around